guys, what's up? It's Rachel back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my haul. Recently, the Sephora VIB sale started. I'm pretty sure it started April the 26th. But I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's when it started. I did a Sephora haul, and I actually placed that order before the actual sale started. And I talked about in that video how I didn't think I was going to be participating in the Sephora VIB sale. But I, I kindly changed my mind because I kindly thought... It's crazy not to, as much as I love makeup and the fact that the Sephora VIB sale only happens twice a year. And with that, you get 20% off depending on your status, what you are, if you're a VIB or a VIB Rouge or a Beauty Insider. So I thought I'd just go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and warn you all. Now, a lot of these are palettes. I'm a palette junkie and when I see new ones that I haven't tried, I immediately gravitate toward them. Other than that, I don't think I have any other updates except I wanted to mention I'm not wearing makeup, obviously. And I think because I'm going to film a first impressions of all the NARS stuff that I talked about in my previous Sephora haul. So, other than that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the haul. The first thing I picked up was from Natasha Denona. And this is the Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This is what it looks like. Very, very tiny. You can see it. It's reflective. But when you open it up, you have two powders. And depending on your skin tone... You can use these as highlighters or blush toppers and then you pull this down here and this is like cream blushes. This one a lot of people said not to be afraid of because it does sheer out and it gives a very nice flush to the face. And this one's just very pretty. It's like a pinky but peachy at the same time. And then you can also just layer these over the creams. You can use the powders alone. You can use the creams alone. There's just a lot to do with this and I'm excited to play with this and see like how it's going to work for my skin tone. Like what I want to use each shade specifically for so i saw a lot of people talk about this palette and it's been out for a little bit now but i thought i'd go ahead and pick it up for the sale since i did get the discount on it natasha denona is very expensive but it's very well worth it her quality is amazing it's one of my favorite formulas so very excited to have this and like i said i've heard a lot of people talk about it the next palette i picked up is an eyeshadow palette and this is from a brand called violet voss i am familiar with this brand i do have a few of their palettes i really do enjoy their formula but the one that i picked up now is called the hashtag pro and it's full of like purples and oranges and golds it's very very me it's very pretty this is what the outer packaging looks like I think probably out of all the packaging that Violet Voss has done, out of the palettes that I have, this personally has to be my favorite. I don't know why. I feel like it looks really sleek looking. But then when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Again, it has a ton of purples and like those oranges and golds just warm. And you really can smoke it out. You have a nice black shade in here as well. It is a mixture of shimmers and mattes. Very, very pretty. Very excited to play with this. I feel like this was a good palette for the summer especially for me i'm someone i wear a lot of purple so i thought this was perfect and this is a palette that i've been wanting for a while but i just never really felt the need to grab it but i thought since the sale had started i thought i'd go ahead and just pick it up like i said very excited to play with this i haven't really heard that many people talk about it and i haven't really heard that many people talk about violet boss in general so very excited to play with this the next palette I picked up is from Bobbi Brown, and I'm pretty sure I'm saying this right, but this is called the Molten Drama Palette, and I had heard Tati talk about this, and she didn't really like it. She said it was more muted than what you'd expect, and that you can find much better for the same price or less, but I kind of like the fact that it's muted, and I really like the colors in it. So again, this is the Molten Drama Palette. This is what it looks like. Again, it's got that reflective packaging, so you can see my phone. Sorry about that. It was like the Natasha Denona one. And then when you open it up, first of all, I want to say that this is probably the coolest packaging. I love how it's just magnetic, but it feels like very light, just very lightweight, and I love that. And then when you open it up, you have a mixture of shimmers and mattes, and these colors are just really calling my name. I don't know if you can tell well on my phone, because again, I am filming with my phone, but they're really muted, but I feel like they're brighter than what they're showing up on camera. Very, very pretty, just very, like, like I said, I think all these colors just really go well together. And I will say that there is more shimmers and mattes, but like I said, it's just very, very pretty. I'm not going to lie, usually when I see Bobbi Brown, I never really see anything that catches my eye. I'm not really into Bobbi Brown that much. When I first got into makeup, I used a, like, a gel pot eyeliner from Bobbi Brown, which was very overly priced. It was good, but like I said, it's very overpriced. You can find much, much better from the drugstore. I even like the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner. I love that. But now I'm off topic, but I love this palette. I can't wait to use it. I feel like I'm really going to love it. Like I said, just muted shades, but very, very pretty. Something that I can see myself getting a lot of use out of. I'm trying to give you guys a close-up. 
The next palette I picked up is from Huda Beauty, and honestly, this palette is something that I never really considered getting. I've seen a lot of people talk about it, and a lot of people was raving about it, especially when it first came out. They loved it, and I feel like the reason that they really loved it was because you don't really see a lot of brands coming out with something like this. It just looked really unique and different. The palette I'm talking about is called the New Nude, and this is what it looks like. The packaging is very, very pretty, and then when you open it up, this is the cover-up, by the way. And this is not cheap. You can tell she spent a lot of time and money on this as well. But this is what the shadows look like. Like I said, you it looks like there's like white flakes in it. But it's just very, very different. I haven't really seen anything like this. So I'm very excited to play with it and see what it does. When people swatch these, I've seen swatches. They look insane. Like they look very blinding. And the mattes look very nice as well. I've always said that Huda Beauty when it comes to her bigger palettes... The mattes tend to be more drier, which I'm okay with because they blend out very nice. And the shimmers tend to be really nice when it comes to her Desert Dust palette. Now, I haven't tried her remastered palette. A lot of people, again, it's hit and miss. That one palette, her first rose gold edition that everybody went crazy over, that's the palette that I have. And I got some really cool looks out of it, so I'm very excited to play with this. And this right here is actually an eye base, and a lot of people didn't really like that. But, like I said, I'm very excited to play with it. I just want to see if this palette lives up to the hype because a lot of people really do love this. And then I also picked up another Huda Beauty palette. This is one of her mini palettes. And this is one of the Obsessions palettes in the shade Mauve. So, this is the Mauve Obsessions palette. This is what it looks like on the outside. The reason I ended up picking up this one, I have a few of these. But, the reason I picked up this one is because I feel like they're going to take it off the market soon. I had seen that... Two of the palettes that I have of these, they were already took off. The Gemstone Obsessions and the Coral Obsessions. So they don't have those on Sephora anymore. And the Electric one, the one that had all those bright shades. I, I can't remember what it was called, but they don't have that one on there anymore. And that was one that I was wanting to pick up, sadly enough. But realistically, I feel like this is one that I would use a lot. I love those mauve tones. It has a very similar vibe to the New Nude palette, except this one is more intense, I feel like. While that one is more soft and like that romantic look like the Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. But this one is more intense. I feel like this one is going to be more me. This is what it looks like on the inside. Again, you have a mixture of shimmers and mattes. And I have tried these palettes and I absolutely love them. The shimmers are very blinding and the mattes are soft. While like I said before, in her bigger palettes, the mattes tend to be more drier. But these for some reason are softer and very excited to play with this. I love the color selection. Again, it's all mauves and the shimmers just look really nice and very pretty. So, very excited to have this. Like I said, I picked it up because I thought it was going to go off the market soon. So, I knew that if I didn't grab it now, I would regret it because I love these types of shades. I have a ton of palettes that are exactly like this. Did I need it? No, but hers just really stood out to me. Recently, I had saw that Stila had brought out some like large palettes, which is pretty different for them because they don't normally come out with palettes. And when they do, they're not as big as these. These are pretty big. This palette is called After Hours, and this is what the packaging looks like. It's all gold. And then on the back, you have the shade names. And this is very heavy. Like, this is a very heavy palette. When you open it up, you have a mixture of shimmers and mattes. And I feel like these shimmers are going to have a different formula than what you are used to when it comes to normal shimmers. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. I've seen some people swatching, like, the brown shades and stuff. And it was, like, crazy intense. I don't want to touch it right now because I, I don't know if I want to, you know, I never know if I'm going to do a video on a certain product or not. But, like I said, this looks gorgeous. Very excited to play with it. I've seen swatches on it. I feel like this is a different formula. Just very exciting and very different for Stila. Like I said, you don't really see them come out with like full-blown palettes like this. So again, this is the one in After Hours. And then the last palette that I have to talk about is actually from Macy's. I didn't pick this up from Sephora because they did not have it at Sephora. I saw online that they had this After Hours Stila palette. But I actually wanted the other one in the shade, well not the shade, in the palette called Happy Hour. And I, they didn't have it online. Like I said, they only had the other one. And in store, they didn't have either one of them. But I saw on Ulta that they had both of them 
online and in store. But I was over at the mall and I was wanting to go inside Macy's to see maybe if they had it. And they did. And Macy's was having like a 15% off sale. So I ended up getting a discount on it anyway. And I thought I'd just go ahead and mention it because this is a haul video. So like I said, this palette is called Happy Hour. And again, it's got the same packaging. And like I said, it's very heavy. And then when you open it up, I feel like I'm going to get more use out of this palette than the other one. This one, to me, just looks more, just looks different, and it looks more, like, calling when you look at it. I don't know how to describe it, but this is more cooler, and this is what it looks like. Again, you have a mixture of shimmers and mattes, and this looks very, very nice, and I feel like this is something that I will use a lot. These shimmers look absolutely gorgeous, and I feel like they picked the right mattes to go along with the shimmers. Very intense shades, but very pretty. And I do like this one better than the other one. I don't know what it is, but I have switched over. I used to be all about warm tones, and now I'm about cool tones, and I like colorful looks, which I've always liked colorful looks, but I'm all about those cool tones here lately. And like I said, this looks absolutely gorgeous, and I would at least go in store and swatch this because, like I said, it looks just unique. But other than that, I don't think I have anything else to update you or tell you guys, except I am working on a video on my first impressions all about NARS. Like I said, if you had watched that recent uh, Sephora haul, I talked about a bunch of NARS stuff and I was very excited. And some of it had some really bad negative reviews, which is very disappointing because NARS is a very expensive brand to me anyway. So I am going to film that for you guys and have that up very, very soon. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It honestly means the world to me. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell below so you are notified every time I upload a video. But other than that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.